within the fields of computer science and linguistics, specifically in the area of formal languages. The Chomsky hierarchy is a containment hierarchy of classes of formal grammars. This hierarchy of grammars was described by Noam Chomsky in 1956. It is also named after Marcel Paul Schutzenberger, who played a crucial role in the development of the theory of formal languages. Formal grammars A formal grammar of this type consists of a finite set of production rules, where each side consists of a sequence of the following symbols. A finite set of non-terminal symbols a finite set of terminal symbols, a start symbol. A formal grammar defines a formal language, which is a set of finite length sequences of symbols that may be constructed by applying production rules to another sequence of symbols. A rule may be applied by replacing an occurrence of the symbols on its left-hand side with those that appear on its right-hand side. A sequence of rule applications is called a derivation. Such a grammar defines the formal language. All words consisting solely of terminal symbols which can be reached by a derivation from the start symbol. Non-terminals are often represented by uppercase letters, terminals by lowercase letters, and the start symbol by S. For example, the grammar with terminals A, B, non-terminals S, A, B. Production rules S A B S S Epsilon bar A B S B B B B B A B A B A A A A and start symbol S defines the language of all words of the form. The following is a simpler grammar that defines the same language. Terminals A B non terminals S start symbol S production rules S A S B S Epsilon is another example. A grammar for a toy subset of English language is given by Terminals generate, hate, great, green, ideas, linguists, non-terminals, sentence, n-o-u-n-p-h-r-a-s-e, v-e-r-b-p-h-r-a-s-e, noun, verb, adjective, production rules, sentence, n-o-u-n-p-h-r-a-s-e, v-e-r-b-p-h-r-a-s-e, n-o-u-n-p-h-r-a-s-e, adjective, n-o-u-n-p-h-r-a-s-e, n-o-u-n-p-h-r-a-s-e, S-E noun V-E-R-B-P-H-R-A-S-E verb N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E V-E-R-B-P-H-R-A-S-E verb Noun ideas noun linguists verb generate verb hate adjective great adjective green and start symbol sentence an example derivation is sentence N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E-V-E-R-B-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E-V-E-R-B-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective Noun V-E-R-B-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective Noun Verb N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective Noun Verb adjective N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective noun verb adjective adjective N-O-U-N-P-H-R-A-S-E Adjective noun verb adjective adjective noun great noun verb adjective adjective noun great linguists verb adjective adjective Noun great linguists generate adjective adjective noun great linguists generate great adjective noun great linguists generate great green noun great linguists generate great green ideas. Other sequences that can be derived from this grammar are ideas hate great linguists and ideas generate. While these sentences are nonsensical, they are syntactically correct. A syntactically incorrect sentence cannot be derived from this grammar. C. Colorless green ideas sleep furiously. For a similar example given by Chomsky in 1957, see phrase structure grammar and phrase structure rules. For more natural language examples and the problems of formal grammar in that area, the hierarchy. The Chomsky hierarchy consists of the following levels. Type 0 grammars include all formal grammars. They generate exactly all languages that can be recognized by a Turing machine. These languages are also known as the recursively enumerable languages. Note that this is different from the recursive languages which can be decided by an always halting Turing machine. Type 1 grammars generate the context-sensitive languages. These grammars have rules of the form with a non-terminal in, and strings of terminals and or non-terminals. 
The strings and may be empty, but must be non-empty. The rule is allowed if does not appear on the right side of any rule. The languages described by these grammars are exactly all languages that can be recognized by a linear bounded automaton. Type 2 grammars generate the context-free languages. These are defined by rules of the form with a non-terminal and a string of terminals and or non-terminals. These languages are exactly all languages that can be recognized by a non-deterministic pushdown automaton. Context-free languages, or rather its subset of deterministic context-free language, are the theoretical basis for the phrase structure of most programming languages. Though their syntax also includes context-sensitive name resolution due to declarations and scope, often a subset of grammars are used to make parsing easier, such as by an null parser. Type 3 grammars generate the regular languages. Such a grammar restricts its rules to a single non-terminal on the left-hand side and a right-hand side consisting of a single terminal, possibly followed by a single non-terminal. Alternatively, the right-hand side of the grammar can consist of a single terminal, possibly preceded by a single non-terminal. These generate the same languages. However, if left regular rules and right regular rules are combined, the language need no longer be regular. The rule is also allowed here if does not appear on the right side of any rule. These languages are exactly all languages that can be decided by a finite state automaton. Additionally, this family of formal languages can be obtained by regular expressions. Regular languages are commonly used to define search patterns and the lexical structure of programming languages. Note that the set of grammars corresponding to recursive languages is not a member of this hierarchy. These would be properly between type 0 and type 1. Every regular language is context-free. Every context-free language is context-sensitive. Every context-sensitive language is recursive and every recursive language is recursively enumerable. These are all proper inclusions, meaning that there exist recursively enumerable languages which are not context-sensitive, context-sensitive languages which are not context-free and context-free languages which are not regular. Summary The following table summarizes each of Chomsky's four types of grammars, the class of language it generates, the type of automaton that recognizes it, and the form its rules must have. There are further categories of formal languages, some of which are given in the expandable navigation box at the bottom of this page.